The incentive to self-sacrificing labor does not reside in any theory about the universe, but in the spirit of love and compassion. The spirit of love does not decrease when a person realizes that perfect justice obtains in the spiritual government of the world. On the other hand, it is increased and intensified, for we know that we suffer because we do not understand, because we err in ignorance. The comfortably conditioned are frequently involved in greater suffering than the poor, and like others are garnering their own mixed harvest of happiness and suffering. This teaching of absolute justice is not more encouraging for the rich than for the poor. For while it tells the rich who are selfish and oppressive or who misuse their wealth, that they must reap the results of all their actions. It also tells the suffering and oppressed that as they are now reaping what they have formerly sown, they may and surely will by sowing the good seeds of purity, love and peace, shortly also reap a harvest of good and so rise above their present woes. The painful consequences of all self-seeking must be met and passed through.